Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be setting up these Raspberry Pis into a Kubernetes cluster, specifically a K3S cluster. We have three slaves and one master. I don't know what Kubernetes calls it, but that's essentially what I'm gonna call them. I believe you need to have one control node and then the three like workers. I have a Unify Flex switch right here and we're going to be connecting. This is PoE powered and it's four ports um, that can provide PoE. I'm going to be PoE powering all of them. These are all Raspberry Pi 4s. Um, these three have eight gigabytes of RAM. That one has two gigabytes of RAM, which I believe from what I know should be plenty to run Kubernetes. So I'm excited to try it out. We're going to see how this goes. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we are here on the computer. First, I can guarantee you the first thing on any um, documentation is that you need to fully update your machine. So I'm gonna do Control S on my keyboard. I'm gonna click on um, this bracket thing here. And as you can see, I have a command called update M and we are going to run this um, basically script or snippet across all of these pies here. So I have not done any setup on the pies yet. I'm going to click run and type in my password on every single pi here. And we're going to let the updates run. So I'm going to show you how to set up all four at once. It's gonna take a little bit longer, I apologize, but I think it'll give you a better understanding of how to set them all up. So I'm gonna let it run through the um, download here and we will pick back up right as soon as this finishes. Okay, so here's a quick little uh, diagram or chart, I guess you could say, um, of all of the four pies that I have. Um, here is how the IP addresses are allocated on this subnet that is 10.140.3.x. We have 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are according to their position in the rack um, mount. So they are going in order. And the first one is node 1. The second will be node 2, node 3. And then the master or the like primary control node is the fourth one. This is how I have the IPs allocated. You're supposed to set a static IP for all of them. Um, now the difference is that I have the static IP set on my router. Um, that way it's everything's just a little bit easier since it's all controlled from one place. The static IP is set on the router, my Unify router, um, just in case I ever need to change it. Um, it's a lot easier to do it all at once on the router side rather than connecting to individual computers or individual pies to make that change. Uh, also, just now, I don't know why, but number three dropped out on SSH during the update, so I'm just hoping that it will let me reconnect at the end. If not, it's not that big a deal for the purposes of this tutorial, um, but the updates are almost done, so we will pick back up here shortly. Okay, so I'm still unsure why number three is still not connecting. Like I said, it does not matter. Um, but we are going to continue with the setup here, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do, this is not in the tutorial I'm following. Uh, for reference, this is the tutorial that I'm following here from Medium, from Stephen Huang, or however you say his name. This is the step-by-step -step guide for installing K3S in a Pi 4 cluster. I'm going to show you how to change the settings on uh, Ubuntu. That way it does not ask for your password every time you run a command with sudo. We're going to say sudo by sudo, type in your password one more time. We're going to go here, we're going to page down. Um, very bottom here, we're going to go up and we're going to say plus beam networks, all equals parentheses, all um, colon all close parentheses no password all and you need to spell password like that control x y enter and now it will never ask you for your password again after you log in of course okay so we're going to pull up that's the wrong window uh, i apologize we're going to pull up uh, chrome here we're going to first turn off our swap memory um, this is going to make sure that there's less reads and writes on the SD card, uh, therefore making it last longer from what I know. It's a lot easier using a software like Termius because you can um, have multiple windows going at the same time, multiple SSH connections. Uh, you can just paste all of these in at once. So what I'm doing is I'm disabling the swap. I'm editing this etc dphys swap file. Control X, Y, enter. And I'm saving this on all three online nodes right now. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Chrome. Now we're going to change our command line dot text. Now this may be different because um, I am using Ubuntu on all of these. And yes, as you can see, it is different. So um, we need to make sure we set these things in Ubuntu. Uh, so it says if it fails during the initialization or installation of K3S, um, we need to make these changes. But due to the fact that we are running Ubuntu in all these pies, 
um, I may not need to make these changes, so we're gonna continue on. Uh, this is going to be for the master node. I'm gonna actually paste this in a notepad first so we can take a look at what the command is before we run it. Okay, so this is our install command. As you can see, we have a few addresses here. Um, it looks like from... Okay, so it looks like all of the IP addresses in this command are all of the ones of the master node. So we're gonna type in 10.140.3.5. Now this may, this is likely different um, for your use case because you have different subnets than me, most likely. Um, so you're gonna want to type in the IP address if you're Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm gonna assume you already have this, judging by the fact that at this point you would already be SSH'd into your Pi. Okay, so I'm going to now copy this command, and you should be very careful doing this because you should not just run pre-built scripts like this. Um, I'm just going to trust this. I'm going to be a bad example, but I highly recommend that you do look through this um, git.k3s.io and ensure that you are going to be getting um, good, clean code that is free of any viruses or anything like that. So um, this is running now. Now we're going to go back and we're going to see what we need to do for the node configuration. Okay, so it looks like there is a software available that you can use to monitor your K3S cluster. I will likely do this depending on how much time we have left in the video today. Okay, so it does seem like we do have this um, lens software up and running, which is really cool. Um, we have all kinds of different things we can do here on the side. Um, I am unsure of what to do with any of this stuff, to be completely honest. Nonetheless, this is a good setup of the Kubernetes cluster. Um, it looks like there's a ton of stuff we can get into here, and there's probably other management softwares we can use as well. But for today, this looks like all we need to set up. So thank you for watching. If you're curious as to what I can run on this Kubernetes cluster, um, leave a comment down below. If you have ideas, let me know. If you have other things you want me to try with the cluster, also let me know. If you have any recommendations of what I should have done differently, leave a comment down below. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Uh, have a great day. I will see you in the next video.